If you don't know about all of the free plugins and presets that are available for DaVinci Resolve, you're missing out. I've created dozens of them from really powerful tracking presets to uh, basic stuff like drag and drop masking effects on the edit page. And then you also have other creators like Mr. Alex Tech doing uh, really, really impressive stuff like Magic Animate and Magic Zoom. And uh, today I'm gonna release a new free preset for all of you. Let's, let's do that. <laughs> this preset is multi-zoom, and uh, if you're thinking it's very similar to Mr. Alex Tech's Magic Zoom, uh, yes. <laughs> and since this is a free uh, giveaway, what I'm releasing today is closer to a proof of concept for a very specific functionality, um, and depending on the response, and uh, I want to tinker with it a bit more, it might be something I work together with Alex in the future to like beef up his uh, Magic Zoom, because I think it would have been really well there. But what I'm giving away today is multi-zoom. If you follow the link in the description, you'll get to the store page um, for this SSC multi-zoom. It, it's a store page, but it will be uh, a free download. <laughs> uh, this will be in a zip file, but if you extract that, you'll have this DRFX. Just double click that uh, and it will open Resolve if it's not open already and load in these free presets. Once that's done and you're uh, in Resolve on a timeline, I have a demo clip here, uh, inside the effects library under generator, Stirling's apply co, you're gonna have multi-zoom two and multi-zoom three. Now here, um, is I think the weakest point of these, not weakest point, but something really important to know. When you first drag these to your timeline, Resolve might hang a little bit, and especially if you drag them and then try to extend them, it might take a little bit for Resolve to catch up. Uh, let it sit, let it think if it needs to. It shouldn't be too long, and then it, it hopefully it extends that out. Yeah, sometimes. I'm also getting like a red shift here. That's interesting. I... Okay, I think we got it. Maybe. Maybe I click right now. Okay, uh, I believe the specific reason for this has to do with some of the, honestly, funky expressions I have in here um, that are directly pulling from the length of the effect on the edit page. So if you change that length, it has to reprocess a lot really quick. It has to run through stuff. Uh, but once that's done, um, you should have pretty smooth sailing. Now, what does this do? <laughs> You'll see um, it sticks with the normal footage. It will zoom in to one area and then zoom to a different area and then finally zoom back out. It's a, a stacked multi-zoom. <laughs> and if we head into the inspector, we can see some really cool stuff going on. Um, first, you have the position and scale for each of those two separate zooms. Now those are happening at different times, but uh, what if you just want to um, set that position and zoom um, wherever you are in your clip? Well, you can click this button to preview the zoom. And you see I'm previewing zoom two here, or I can preview zoom one, and then I can change these controls, uh, move this wherever I want in frame, zoom in even more, pull this down to the bottom of the screen, or maybe not all the way to the bottom of the screen. And then I can change to preview two, change this back this way, maybe something up at the top of the screen. You'll see um, I change this past zero, so you're actually seeing um, like the original source footage underneath it, but keep that. Uh, above zero and you'll be A-OK. -okay. So now this is zoom two, right? This is zoom one. And if I uncheck the preview and go back to the beginning, it will go to where zoom one was, then to where zoom two was, and then zoom out. Next question. <laughs> what if you want to move to the second zoom faster? Well, you have this zoom two timing. And this is a slider um, that goes on a scale from zero to one based on the timing of your composition. So right now the timing is set to 0.5. Uh, so that second zoom happens exactly halfway through your clip. If I change this um, to, I don't know, point, point 0.7, it would hold that first position much longer then go to your second position and then almost immediately scale back out. Now, I added one uh, really important tool for uh, reference. On this zero to one scale, it's pretty easy to like try to guess where things might be or even like change that timing to, to manually start when you want it. But what if you want the zoom to start at a very specific time? Like say, um, I wanted to go to this first location and then almost immediately like right here, go to my second location. Well, if you go to the very bottom of these settings, you have this timing reference option. And you'll see if we just play through this clip, this reference option will go from zero to one. Uh, this is built on uh, the same expressions that are uh, guiding this timing. So say I want the second uh, transition to happen here. I can come to this timing reference, just copy this number, 
paste it in zoom to timing, and then the second zoom will start at that exact time. But I'll change that back five, uh, back to 0.5 just to demo. Uh, the only other setting we added was a little wiggle option. Um, if you want some motion, like maybe a little like natural like camera motion, uh, once it is zoomed in, you can toggle that on. And as it zooms in, you know, you'll have a little wiggle around. This is very subtle, but you know, you pull up the wiggle strength and you'll have quite a bit more. Let's see, this one is like, ooh, quite a bit more. And it naturally uh, decreases that strength at the beginning or, or at the end of your clip. So it scales up that wiggle and then scales down when it's time to transition back to normal footage. And, uh, you know, we had two versions of this. We added multi-zoom two and multi-zoom three. Multi-zoom three um, is the exact same thing, except instead of th two zooms, it's three. And so you have two of those slider controls. I'll show it to you, let's go. If I get rid of this, uh, effects, uh, generator, Sterling Supply Co, multi-zoom three. I'm gonna drag that onto the timeline. We're giving it plenty of time to think during this step. I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit and let go. Let it do its thing. Okay, and we uh, we should be able to see even with the defaults, uh, it zooms into. The first time I drag this on, I also got like a little bug where it's instantly zooming in. Uh, I'm gonna come in, press this little reset button, see what, where that gets us. Oh, a crash. Okay. <laughs> Reminder, we're still in beta for 18.5, and this expression, or this preset is doing funky stuff, like I said. So we'll handle this. Um, I'll ignore this for now. Restart Resolve. So I restarted Resolve. I didn't change anything, but hey, all of a sudden, this effect is working as intended. Um, interesting new powerful effect, plus beta software, um, plus... Uh, me giving this away for free means I'm a little more comfortable with this. Hopefully there aren't too many issues. Let me know if you run into anything beyond the stuff we've already shown off. Okay. But multi-zoom three, so it starts zoom in one, goes to zoom in two, changes to zoom in three, and then back out. And again, you have just those exact same controls, position, scale, and then on zoom two and three, you have that timing slider, which you could always pull from this timing reference option. This is an idea I had almost immediately after Alex put out his uh, magic zoom update. Um, it might be just finicky enough to not end up being added into that. But hey, if this is an effect you want and you want it all in one package and you want pretty basic, uh, this is pretty interesting. This is something I'm gonna keep messing with. I think I can keep adding features. Um, probably if I, you know, uh, build this up into something, then maybe at one time it'll be a, a more complete paid product. We'll see. But for now, hey, grab multi-zoom, tell me what you think. If you're deep in fusion, feel free to open it up and see what I'm doing. There's, there's some interesting stuff going on in there. And I think it's pretty cool. And if you never wanna open a fusion, hey, new free preset. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.